everyone this is Vinita and welcome to hopeful turns in this video I'll be sharing with you the tutorial of this crochet dress so the pattern for this dress is really simple and easy and if you are just getting started in crochet and if you can handle a few basic stitches you can very well do this pattern now you can use the dress in quite a few ways so you can use this just as a normal simple summer dress or you can use it as a pinafore you can use the button part so here I have you can use this as a front part or this one as the front part with the buttons both ways look nice and both ways are almost the same so you can use anything as the front so if you like you can keep the buttons on the front it's all up to you you can wear a half sleeve or a full sleeve t-shirt inside it or if it is you are making it for the winter seasons you can use this on top of your sweater so you can use uh, this uh, dress in quite a few ways it's quite a versatile dress I would say uh, now let's see the construction so the as far as the construction goes uh, this dress has been made for an 18 month old baby but you can adapt or customize this pattern from a newborn size all the way up to three years so for that all you would need is the waist length so if you know the waist length you can very well adapt this pattern so we will be starting with the uh, waist here so whatever is the waist length depending on that we will make the first foundation chain stitch and then we will work it up so we will first make the front panel then make the back panel and then add the straps so front and back panel is the same so we'll start from here and then work it up like that we have to make two panels and once that has been done then we will make the skirt part attaching both the front and the back panels so that is how the construction is and depending on the size you may have to increase or decrease the number of rows both on the skirt and the upper parts so that would be the requirement depending on the a child size that you are making for you might have to adjust the number of rows now with regard to the uh, sizing I would give a, a chart size link in the description box just take it as a rough guide if you do not know the waist length you can take the measurements given that there as a rough guide and just start with that waist length and follow whatever has been said now let's see the supplies that you would require now for this here I am going to, I have made this for as a summer dress so that's, so that's why I have used a cotton yarn so I have used a little more than 100 so you can say that 150 grams would be required for this dress so this is the second ball I have used two balls of 100 grams so this is the second ball so I would say 150 to 175 grams of this is a decay weight cotton yarn I have used and with that I have used a 4 mm crochet hook you can definitely use acrylic yarn if you want to just go with the recommended hook size you can use any yarn any hook but you might have to change the waist length or the foundation chain stitch that you would be making now, apart from that you would require a pair of scissors a darning needle and buttons so these are the few requirements now if you are ready we can get started so we'll start this pattern by making a slip knot first so make a slip knot and once you have your slip knot we'll start by making chain stitch now the chain stitch here that I'm going to make will be half of the width of the waist so my uh, total width width size was 20 inch a little about 20 inch so I'm going to make half of that so 10 inch close to 10 inch will be the width that I am making and for that I'll have to put a total of 48 centimeter so this chain size should be the length of half the total width size that you are making just make sure whatever is the chain stitch that you will be putting it is in mul it is an even number or multiples of two so here I am making 48 chain stitch so I'll make my 48 chain stitch and then show you the next step so here I have made my 48 chain stitch now if I have to measure this so I have to measure from one end to the other you can see that it is 10 inches without stretching it is it will stretch but without stretching it is uh, it is about 10 inches so that is the width half the width of my waist so start with any uh, number of chain stitch but this should be half the 
uh, waist length okay so once you have your foundation chain stitch now this is like the waistband and from here we are going to work upwards so we first work the first uh, row as a plain half double crochet row so the first row is a normal half double crochet row so for that i'm going to skip my first two chain stitch from the hook so skip the first two chain stitch and into the third chain stitch make a half double crochet so to make a half double crochet you yarn over first insert your hook into the third chain stitch from the hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this here is your first half double crochet come to your next stitch do the same thing make your next half double crochet like this make one half double crochet on each of the chain stitch so i'll just continue making one row of half double crochet so if you don't know how to do a half double crochet i'll show you you yarn over insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop you'll have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three so this is how you make a half double crochet so continue making one full row of half double crochet and once you finish this row you will have a total of 47 half double crochet so i'll just make my 47 half double crochet and meet you at the end of this row so here i have worked one full row of half double crochet so you should have a total of 47 half double crochet and that includes the chain two the chain two that we had skipped earlier and we had worked the first half double crochet in the third chain stitch so the two chain stitches that we had skipped that should be counted as a half double crochet and if you count all of that together you'll have a total of 47 half double crochet all right once you're done with this we will chain one and turn our work and from here for the next few rows we are going to go uh, we are going to decrease so as to have that curve for the armhole so we are going for a decrease uh, for the first two stitches and last two stitches so the first two stitches we are going to do a half double crochet two together stitch so i'll show you how to do that so you have a chain one that is just for the height or the turning chain now to do a half double crochet two together stitch we'll be using two stitches so you yarn over just like you do for a half double crochet insert your hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop you don't complete the half double crochet by pulling out three through all the three loops you stop here you again yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch like this and pull up a loop now if you count you have one two three four five five stitches on your hook here you yarn over and pull your hook through all the five loops so this is your half double crochet two together stitch next what you do is in the third half double crochet this is we have uh, combined two stitches together you go into the next stitch and make a normal half double crochet like this then into your next stitch again make a half double crochet so make a normal half double crochet all the way till you reach the end of the row and using the last two stitches we will do a half double crochet two together stitch so i'll just complete making one more row of half double crochet and i'll show you how to work the last two stitches so till you reach the end you make a full row of half double crochets so here i am at the end of this row i have last two stitches left one is a half double crochet and one is the chain two so i'm going to use those two stitches to make the half double crochet two together stitch all other stitches i have placed a normal half double crochet okay now we'll do the half double crochet two together stitch so for that i'm going to yarn over insert my hook into the stitch and then pull up a loop okay i'm not going to finish this but i'm going to yarn over again and then i'm going to go through the second chain of the chain two of the previous row like this and then pull up a loop i have five loops i'm going to yarn over and pull my yarn pull my hook through all the five loops so this will complete your half double crochet two together stitch or this is also called the decrease so once you are done with this you just chain one and then turn your work so once you finish your row two you'll have a total of uh, 45 half double crochet that includes the two half double crochet two together stitch at both the ends now we'll start the next row so once you make your chain one and turn your work i'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch here like this 
and here again we are going to use a half double crochet two together stitch in the first two stitches and make half double crochet two together in the last two stitches okay so we'll do that i've just slip stitched so that we can have a much more cleaner curve so once you do a slip stitch we'll do this half double crochet two together stitch so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop again yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch and then pull up a loop you have five loops yarn over and pull through all the five loops here now come to the next stitch and make a normal half double crochet and just go ahead and place one half double crochet in each of the stitches so i'll make one more row of half double crochet and when you reach the last two stitches we'll use them together to make a half double crochet two together stitch so i'll just make one full row of half double crochet till i reach the last two rows okay so i'll just finish this and meet you so here i'm at the end of my row three i have just the last two stitches left so using the last two stitches i'm going to do a half double crochet two together stitch so we do that you yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop again you yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch so this will be like the half double crochet two together stitch of the previous row and then pull up a loop you have five loops yarn over and pull through all the five loops so this will complete a half double crochet two together stitch and once you finish your row three you should have a total of 43 half double crochet that includes the two half double crochet two together stitch also so this is the end of row three we will do row four you chain one and then turn your work and we are going to repeat the same uh, procedure that we did for row three we will first of all slip stitch okay you slip stitch and then using the first two stitches make a half double crochet two together so i'm going to make a half double crochet two together stitch using the first two stitches and then i'm going to place a normal half double crochet row till i reach the end of this row and when i reach the end of that row i'm going to place a half double crochet two together stitch using the last two stitches okay so i'll make one full row of half double crochet a normal half double crochet row till i reach the very end okay so here i'm at the end of my row four i have last two stitches left so i'm going to do a half double crochet two together stitch so i'm just going to make a half double crochet two together now i have three loops i yarn over again go through the last stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the five loops so this completes a half double crochet two together stitch i'm going to chain one and then turn my work and once you finish your row four you'll have a total of 41 half double crochet including the two half double crochet two together stitches now after this we are not going to do any more decreases from row 5 all the way up to row 10 we are going to follow normal half double crochet rows okay so for that i'm going to just chain one here sorry i think I, i'll just confirm okay so this was our last stitch i think i had chained one and turn my work so you chain one turn your work and next do a normal half double crochet so into your first stitch i'm going to place my half double crochet into the next stitch again i'm going to place a half double crochet like this in every stitch i'm going to place a normal half double crochet and once i reach the end of the row i will chain one turn my work and again make half double crochet rows a normal half double crochet row so this you have to repeat till you reach your row 10 so the chain one here that i have made this was just like just for uh, which will act just as a turning chain some people uh, and i have put a half a proper half double crochet for my first stitch some people do put two a uh, two chain stitch and consider it as a half double crochet but i find that if i do chain two and take it as the first half double crochet it creates a big gap so i don't want that kind of a thing that is why i have chained one and in the very first stitch itself i have made a half double crochet so from row five all the way up to row 10 you just have to make one row of half double crochet and each row will have a total of 
41 half double crochets so I complete this till I reach my row 10 now if you are making for making this dress below one year you just repeat this till row 8 if you are making for about two years you continue it continue making one row of half double crochet up till row 12 anyway I'll make this half double crochet till row 10 and then meet you at the end of row 10 so here I am at the end of row 10 and each of the rows from row 5 all the way up to row 10 has 41 half double crochet now we'll move on to the next row so for that I'm going to chain one and then turn my work now this is going to be the puff stitch row so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one half double crochet in the first two stitches so make a normal half double crochet in the first two stitches one here and one half double crochet in the second stitch also once you have that make chain one you skip one stitch and make a puff stitch into the next so skipping one stitch I'm going to place a puff stitch in the next stitch so in order to make a puff stitch you yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop and when you pull it up pull it up a little higher so this is the first time I'm pulling pulling it up so like that I have to pull it total four times this is one I do that again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop this is the second time yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop third time yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop so this is four times once you have pulled up the loop four times you yarn over and pull your yarn through all these loops that are here including the loop here okay now in order to uh, lock this puff stitch I'm going to chain one once you make a chain one you add one more chain one to it so I've put one more chain one you skip one stitch and make a puff stitch in the next one so I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to make a puff stitch in the next one so for that you have to yarn over four times so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop one this is the second time this here will be the third time yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop fourth time so four times I have pulled this up now I have to pull the working yarn through all these loops that are there on the hook this one also now close the lock the puff stitch with a chain one add one more chain, to it, chain stitch to it so this chain stitch is equivalent to the stitch that we will be skipping here so I am going to skip this stitch and make a puff stitch so this is what you have to repeat uh, throughout this row you have to make a puff stitch you have to skip one stitch make a puff stitch skip one stitch make a puff stitch so I am going to do that again so I am going to skip this one and make a puff stitch into the next one so once this is the second time third time and four times so you have to yarn over pull up a loop four times yarn over pull your yarn through all these loops here chain one to lock the stitch and make one more extra chain stitch then skip one stitch and make a puff stitch so like this I'm going to complete this row so complete it till you have last three stitches left so just make puff stitch skip one stitch puff stitch skip one so here I am almost at the end of this row so this was my last puff stitch I have locked it up with one chain stitch and put an extra chain stitch I have three stitches left so I am going to skip one stitch and in the last two stitches I am going to put one half double crochet each so I am going to skip one stitch and in the last two stitches of this round I am going to put normal half double crochets so that will complete this round so sorry this row all right so that is the end of this row this is the puff stitch row next what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and turn my work now this row is going to be a normal half double crochet row and once you finish this row you will again have 41 half double crochet so we'll start so in these two stitches again I'm going to put a normal half double crochet so one half double crochet goes here and make another half double crochet into the next stitch like this next what you have to do is you have to put one half double crochet in the chain one space and one half double crochet on top of your puff stitch so we'll do that 
so make one half double crochet in the chain space and then make one half double crochet on top of your chain one space so you can find that there is a space where we have locked up the uh, puff stitch there you go and make a half double crochet like this next come to the chain one space and make a half double crochet and the next half double crochet will go on top of your puff stitch so you can see that there is a gap here so go there on top of your puff stitch and make a half double crochet so like this continue making one full row of half double crochet one half double crochet in the chain one space and one half double crochet on top of your puff stitch and once you finish this row you're going to have the same exact number of half double crochet as the previous 5 to 10 rows so that is going to be 41 half double crochet so I'll work one half double crochet everywhere and I'll show you how exactly to do the last stitches so here I'm at the end of this row so I have one half puff stitch left so I'm going to make a half double crochet on top of the puff stitch so make a half double crochet there a half double crochet in the last chain one space and then you have two half double crochet the beginning two half double crochet so make one half double crochet each on top of the last two half double crochets so that will finish off this round here okay so this finishes our 12th row now you just have to repeat 11th and 12th one more time so I'm just going to repeat the same puff stitch round uh, row. So I'll show you how exactly to do that. We we'll chain one, turn our work, and then make in the first two stitches make a normal half double crochet. So make two half double crochet in the first two stitches. Once you do that, chain one, skip one stitch, and then make a puff stitch. So continue making the same row eleven. Uh, pattern here you have to make puff stitches chain one skip one and then make puff stitch so once you have you, once you have pulled up four times you have to pull your working yarn through all the loop including the last loop chain one to lock and put extra chain one once you have that you skip one stitch so you can see that this puff stitch is going here you have to skip one stitch and into the next stitch make a puff stitch again skip one stitch and then make a puff stitch so repeat the same 11 and 12 uh, for 13 and 14th row so i'll meet you at the end of 14th row so it's this one is the puff stitch row the next row will be the plain simple half double crochet row and for that you will get a total of 41 half double crochets so here I have finished making the two rows, the puff stitch row and the half double crochet row. So I worked exactly like the 11th and 12th row. So I made 13th and 14th. And after making the 14th row, I again went ahead and did one normal half double crochet row. So here I am at the end of my row 15. I just added a normal half double crochet row just like we did for the previous row. And after doing my row 15, I again had 41 half double crochet. So this completes the front panel. Now you have to do the exact same thing for the back panel. So here I have done another for the back panel. So you have to start with the same number of chain stitch. So this was started with 48 chain stitch and I have worked till row 15. So this one will be your back panel. So make two panels exactly the same. Now we'll work on the straps. Okay. So for the straps here, what I'm so this is the row 15. After making row 15, we will chain one and then turn our work next what we'll do is we'll make four slip stitches in the first four stitches so after chaining one and turning into the first stitch make a slip stitch again make a slip stitch into the next so this is the second slip stitch third slip stitch and make one more so i have made four slip stitch and from here we are going to start our strap so into the fifth stitch I'm going to make a single crochet like this and I'm going to make five more single crochet so I'll make a total of six single crochet this is one into the next one make the single crochet two three four five 
and one more I'll put six so here I have got my six single crochet I'm going to chain one and then turn my work and again I'll make six single crochet on top of it so this was chain one that is just going to be acting as a turning chain I'm not going to count it as anything so this is one two three four five and I have to put one more six so here is my sixth single crochet so like this I'm going to work a row a couple of rows of single crochet six single crochet in every row I will chain one turn my work and then again make six rows of uh, single sorry six single crochet in a row so like that I think I will make about 22 to 24 rows I'll have to check how many rows I have to make when you just make a long strap and check if that strap is well enough to fit so I'll make a few rows and tell you the exact number of uh, rows that I have made so here I have made the shoulder strap and for this I have made a total of 25 rows of single crochet now you can increase or decrease the number of rows depending on the length that you are looking for once you have the length we will start the buttonhole so for that I'm going to chain one and then turn my work and what I'll do is in the first two stitches I'll make single crochets so make single crochet in the first two stitches after that make three chain stitch one two three skip the middle two stitches and make half double crochet in the last two stitches so skipping two stitches I'll go directly into the second last stitch and make a single crochet and also a single crochet into the very last stitch so this here is the buttonhole now if you are uh, using a much bigger button you might need to add chain 3 I have made chain 3 you can add chain 4 or chain 5 depending on the size of the button okay once it's done chain 1 turn your work and again place six single crochet so make a single crochet into the very first stitch so this is one a single crochet into the next stitch two place two single crochet into the chain three gap so this completes three and four and place last two single crochet on top of the last two stitches so that would complete this row once you're done you can cut your yarn here so this completes your shoulder strap and this is exactly what we are going to repeat on the other side as well. So this completes this strap and this is how the length of the strap will be. Now we'll work on this side. Now to make the strap on this side you take the yarn again and start with a slip knot first. Okay once you have your slip knot just attach it to your hook and then count 10 chain 10 stitches from this side so count 10 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so this here is my 10th stitch I'll go there and then slip stitch to join now you can join any method that you like I just prefer this method so I'm going to slip stitch here like this and I'm going to chain one and into the same stitch I'm going to make my single crochet this is one I'll make five more single crochet two three four and five so you have to make total of six so one two three four five and six so you should have total of six single crochets same as we did for this trap you chain one turn your work and then again make single crochet rows so like this continue to make single crochet row exactly like the other one so i'll make 25 rows of single crochet and then add a buttonhole to it so i'll finish off this row and then we will start working on the skirt part so here i have finished the two straps and this is how this looks so far now we'll move on to the skirt part so for that i'm going to take the back panel so here i have got my back panel and I'll just turn my work here so this is where we had started and I'm going to the opposite side of it 
and what I'll do is I'll count four stitches from one end so this here is one one two three four this here is my fourth stitch I'm going to first of all attach my hook to the fourth stitch for the skirt part now the skirt part is again going to be half double crochet rows but the pattern here will be we will be increasing in every fourth stitch so we'll make three half double crochet and then make an increase so uh, here, here we are going to start with two chain stitch and this two chain stitch will be counted as our first half double crochet so this is one i'm going to make two more so this is my second half double crochet this here is going to be my third half double crochet and the fourth stitch I'm going to place an increase so in the last stitch I'm going to place an increase increase is nothing but you have to place two half double crochet in the same stitch so this is one and in the same one I'm going to make another half double crochet so three half double crochet followed by an increase after that I'm going to chain one so now we will attach this to the front panel so for that what you do is you take the front panel so this is where the front panel has also started so you go there so you have a chain one you take the front panel and go directly here and make your first half double crochet so go ahead and into the first stitch make a half double crochet so this is one okay come to your next stitch again put one half double crochet so this is two I'm taking this tail end along with me so that I don't have to weave in later into your next stitch make a half double crochet so this is three so once you have three half double crochet into your next stitch make an increase increase is nothing but you have to put two half double crochet in the same stitch so this is one half double crochet and in the same stitch make another half double crochet so two half double crochet will go in the same stitch like this so I have three half double crochet followed by an increase and this is the pattern that we have to repeat all through this row so we'll do that again so into your next stitch make a half double crochet so you have to make three half double crochet one I think I have just split my yarn here so I'll just take this out and make a normal half double crochet so this is one into the next stitch another one two and then three so here I have got three half double crochet and this should be followed by two half double crochet one and two two half double crochet in the same stitch so this is what I'll be repeating throughout this row uh, throughout this row three half double crochet and then an increase three half du double crochet and an increase so I do the same thing till I reach this end and then we'll join back to the back panel I'll show you how to do it just continue making this row so here I have worked up three half double crochet followed by an increase so I'm almost at the end of this row I have uh, three half double crochet here and next will be an increase and that increase I'm going to make on the back panel so this is three half double crochet I'm going to chain one now here again I want to uh, say that this may or may not be uh, like three half double crochet if you have started with some other chain stitch other than 48 this might uh, be a little bit different depending on your chain stitch so you just do three half double crochet followed by an increase uh, it doesn't really matter uh, what is the last stitch here you just follow that pattern so here I've got three uh, half double crochet and my increase is going to be here on the next panel here so I'm going directly onto this panel and here I will make my increase so I'm just going to join here with an increase maybe for you it will be a normal half double crochet depending on your chain stitches the initial foundation chain stitch so here is an increase and again I'm going to repeat this till I reach the very beginning so I'm again going to put three half double crochets followed by an increase stitch all the way up to this point here so I'm going to repeat this 
three half double crochet and increase till I reach my first chain two. So here I have repeated the pattern and I have reached the starting chain two. So if you see I have two half double crochet I didn't finish in an increase. So depending on your starting chain stitch you may or may not finish on an increase. So here I have two half double crochet and I'm going directly to the next round and here we are going to work in continuous rounds. We are not going to slip stitch but we'll be working in continuous rounds. So this is the starting chain two. I'm going to go there on top of the chain two and make a half double crochet like this. So this uh, skirt is not going to have any seams. So for this round what we will do is we will make six half double crochet and then an increase. So this is one. I'll go to the next one and then make an in, uh, a half double crochet. I'll go into the next one and then make a half double crochet. So it is it will be good if you just mark your first stitch because this can get a little bit tricky. So one, two, three. So this was the first stitch of this round. You can mark it with a stitch marker, safety pin, whatever you have at hand. I'm just going to use a different color yarn to mark my first stitch. So as I said, this uh, round you have to make six half double crochet and then an increase so this is three go to the next one half double crochet four here is your fifth stitch half double crochet you have a chain one in between you have to put a half double crochet there also so I'm going to the chain one space that we had done to connect both the panels so there I have my sixth one and into the next one I am going to make an increase. So here I will make an increase. So this is the pattern that you will follow for this round. You have to make six a half double crochet followed by an increase. So I will make six half double crochet then an increase. Like that I will go round till I reach the stitch marker. So just continue making the pattern. So here I'm at the end of this round I have reached my stitch marker but I did a small correction here. So instead of increasing in every sixth stitch I just redid this round and did the increase in every eighth stitch because when I was doing an increase in every sixth stitch it was ruffling a bit too much. So for this round I redid this and I made seven half double crochet and then an increase. So that is how I did this. So in order to start the next row, I'll just take my stitch marker out and into that stitch, I'm going to make my half double crochet. So for this round here, this is going to be a normal half double crochet round. So I'll just mark my stitch here. So I'll just mark before moving ahead. So this is going to be, as I said, a normal half double crochet row. You just have to make one half double crochet in every stitch. So for the next 10 rounds you just have to place one half double crochet in every stitch there are going to be no more increases just a row of half double crochet until you reach the uh, 10th round so I'll just go ahead and make 10 rounds of half double crochet and then we will do the puff stitch so all you have to do is you have to keep doing one half double crochet in every stitch so here I have done a few more rows of half double crochet and if I have to count from this place where we have attached the front and back panel I have made a total of 14 half double crochet and now we will do the uh, puff stitch row so for that you have to just start somewhere here so I've already marked my place where the puff should puff stitch should start but if you have not marked it's totally fine what you have to do is you have to find the back panel where the strap is not attached and come somewhere to one end so there you can do the transition to the puff stitch so in order to have a smoother transition since this was done in spirals what we'll do is we will after making half double crochet in the next two stitches we will make a single crochet so here I'm going to make one single crochet in one stitch and make one more single crochet and then in the next stitch I'm going to put a slip stitch so this will kind of give a smoother transition from the spiral okay once you're done that we can start working the spi uh, puff stitch row so for that just like we did earlier we have to pull out our yarn four times so this is one again go two then one more three 
and 4. So pull out your yarn 4 times, pull out your yarn through all the loops that are there on the hook. After that chain 1 to lock and here what we'll do with instead of putting just one chain stitch we are going to put two chain stitch. So one, two. So one I have one chain stitch I have put to lock the puff stitch and I have added two more chain stitch. After that I'm going to skip two stitches here. So I'm going to skip two stitches and make a puff stitch into the third chain stitch. So this will be the pattern for this row. You have to make a puff stitch. You have to put two extra chain stitch and then skip two chain stitch and then continue making your puff stitch. So this is a puff stitch. I'm going to close with one chain stitch. I'll make two more chain stitch. I will skip two chain stitch and then make a puff stitch. So I'll continue making this row of puff stitch. So here I'm at the end of this round. So this was a puff stitch and two chain stitch round. And in order to finish this, I'm going into the first puff stitch. There will be a small gap on top of that puff stitch. I'm going to go there and slip stitch to finish off this round. So this will complete the puff stitch round. Now uh, you may or may not have two chain stitch at the end. Uh, you might end up with just one chain stitch or you might end up with three chain stitch which is both totally fine. You just go in and a slip stitch to the first puff stitch. So this completes the puff stitch round. Now we'll start the next round and the next round here we are starting with two chain stitch and this will be counted as a double crochet sorry half double crochet now into the chain 2 space you have to make two half double crochet because we had skipped two half double crochet in the stitch in the row below it so two half double crochet will go in the chain 2 space and then one half double crochet on top of your puff stitch so this is the pattern for this round you have to make two puff stitch in the chain 2 space and one sorry two half double crochet in the chain 2 space and one half double crochet on the puff stitch so this is this will be again a pure half double crochet row two in the space and one on top of the puff stitch so i'll just finish this row so here i have repeated the row for a few more times so here i have a total of three puff stitch row one two three and after every puff stitch row i added a half double crochet row and once I added the last half double crochet row, I added three more rows of half double crochet. So you can say that after the last puff stitch row, I added four more rows of half double crochet row. And this was done exactly like the way we were doing all these rows. This was all worked in um, continuous rounds. So with that, my skirt part is done. Now the number of rows will completely depend on the length that you're looking for. So if you're making it for a bigger size you might have to add a few more rows maybe the puff stitch row and increase the number of last uh, half double crochet row if you are making it for smaller sizes you may not need so much of rows so depending on the size that you are looking for you may have to increase or decrease the number of rows so with that the pattern is almost done there is one last thing to do which unfortunately i just forgot to record so you can add the buttons here so this was the back panel i just added two buttons so you can add that and the one thing that you can do is the last thing is to make a full row of single crochet on the top uh, front and back panel i somehow missed to record that part so what you can do is uh, you can start from the back panel somewhere around this way where your button is going to come so you can see that it is going to close here so you can start from here Go, go around this part making one single crochet in every stitch just go in make one single crochet go through all this side then start then go here it's just a continuous row so you can go through the strap come around it go all the way through this point then go for the strap just go around it then come and then join back here so just make one continuous row of one single crochet just have to put one single crochet in every stitch and when you reach the corner so you can see that this is very nice and rounded so what i did is when i reached the very last stitch the last stitch on the corner i put three single crochet so every time you reach a corner you can put three single crochet so here here and also on the straps 
at the very corner stitch i had put three single crochet so like that you can just make one full row of single crochet it will give a very clean edge so that is the advantage of use uh, doing the single crochet now if you do not want it you can totally skip that part so with that our pattern is done i hope you enjoyed it and you like the pattern now if you have made the pattern please do share it on my facebook and my instagram account i will put the links to my social media accounts in the description box i would really love to see if you have made it so please do share it if you have made it and if you like the video please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing see you in the next video until then bye bye thank you